Shalom. Just testing everything. Right, so Shalom, I'm gonna give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, right, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, name in the Hebrew tongue, Yahweh Shai, that's who the word incorrectly called Jesus Christ, right, come back with the video, <clears throat> you know, uh, what when it's edifying, you know, just going into, you know, sifting, man, and our life gonna be upgraded, man, right, but we must go through the fire first. Right, it's, that's, that's in anything in life, man. You know, you gotta go through the fire, right, to prove yourself worthy. Worthy, so like, you know. And um, one, 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 uh, one of my favorite stories is, you know, uh, Job, man. You know, he had to go through, you know, he had to go through hell, man. Right. <clears throat> and the same as our, you know, our story gonna be today, man. Right, our story gonna be told throughout many generations, man. A forever a, a ongoing story man you know right but the titles probably somewhere along the lines is you know it's gonna be like a little thumbnail right you know upgrade upgrade coming soon some some along the lines you know so i'm just going inside some precepts and you know low willingness edifying man right but um here you have it right um it says uh i was trying to say was um Satan is going to keep, tempt keep tempting us. You know, it's going to be an ongoing fight until Yahweh Shah can redeem us, man. So until then, we must keep the patience. You know, don't let nothing get in the way of our race, man, right? Because at the end of the day, we are in a race, right? So um, I'm going to start off in the book of Job. You know, just I'm going to jump down into it, right? But before I even say that, right? You know, we in this race. You know, you may feel as if you're alone sometimes, right? And you always try to lift us to comfort him, man, which is the Bible, right? When we go to the book, matter of fact, I just go there, I go there first. Um, just write the book of Isaiah <clears throat> 33, verse 6. You know, the infamous, man, you know, bring this out every time. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? So the Lord, you know, putting us through what we need to go through. He molding us right now, man. Molding us to be future um, governors, you know, 144,000. You know, wherever you may fall within that, um, the 12 tribes, man. You know, but he's molding us to, to be fit, you know, be accounted worthy. So with that, come, with that being said, you got to go through a lot of trials and tribulations, man, right? A lot of them, you know. Um, matter of fact, I got another priest. I just, to, you know, go into that. Matter of fact, kind of, that's how the spirit flows, man. You know, but hey, a new, a, a new life is all gonna be. A new life is, a new upgrade is coming soon, man. New bodies, new heavens, new kingdom. You know, what I'm saying oh, that's coming real soon, like right where we must get to what's in front of us now, the race that's in front of us now, right? It says. Um, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Right? So the thing that you're going through now is building you up. You know, taking the L's, taking the L's, you know, not not winning on this side, I should say. You know, but we're winning by, you know, through your how about you, my shot. Why could we stay diligent? You know, we're trying to got call in the election show, we're getting the precepts down, pat, you know, to where not just try to be a robot, right? But we actually believing and having faith. You know, when shit hit the fan, right? Which we, which we can see, you know, we'll be happening real soon, right? Um, but like I said, it says, then wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability, right? You know, we're we coming to a time where a lot of people will not be stable, you know? Why? Because they took, they took the words for granted, you know, thought these times wasn't gonna come, you know? They don't, they couldn't see the kingdom. You know, the kingdom was too far, too far fetched for them. You know, so when, when, when calamity hits, you know, disaster after disaster hits, they won't be able to be stable, man. They won't be stiff rooted. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
the other precept I wanted to bring out was through many tribulations we enter the kingdom, through much tribulation we enter the kingdom. The what is it? What is it? Um, Salakia. <coughs> Much tribulation. Oh, Acts. That's what it is. Acts. <laughs> Call all you help us. You know, child. Right. Um, Acts 14, verse 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Right. And a disciple means, you know, to walk after what? You have a shot. Right. Those are the true, you know, true Christians. You know. But it says, um, disciple, also disciple means to be disciplined too, you know. But it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them, right? Encouragement them to continue in the faith that we must, that we must do much tribulation entering through the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Right? So, Akim, you know, if you aqua, right? Do much tribulation. Right, that's, that's that key word. Much tribulation, man. You know, because we're gonna go through it, right? And that's the only way you're gonna be able to get to the other ends by going through it. Ain't no other way, right? Ain't no other way to the kingdom but through it, man. Right? Straight gate, you gotta go through it. Five on the left, you know, waters on the right. right paraphrasing, so like it, right? But we must go through those trials and tribulations, man. You know, to, to, to um, prove. To you, how about you, my child, that we worthy, man? You know, especially to the Akim, that we worthy to be a, well, being a part of his elect. <laughs> right? So, hey, like I said, you know, um, <clears throat> video going into, you know, uh, uh, upgrade life, is, you know, is, is due, it's due, it's coming next, man, right? But we must hold on and keep the faith, you know? And there's beautiful things that happen when you wait on your how about you, child, right? So um, from there, let's see what I, um, I'm going to the book of Ephesians. Yeah, I go to the book of Ephesians. You know, Lord willing, it's edifying as, uh, Lord willing, it's edifying as well. It's the book of Ephesians six. Start at verse uh, 10, if I'm mistaken. Yo. Right? So it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Right? And that's the small commandments, man. Be strong, man. Right? Because in, in a little while, that's all we're going to have. You know? Um, well, we have that now. You know? But when it's real dark out here, right? These spirits get to roaming around, shit hitting the fan, food, famine. Right? Can't link up with the brothers. You know what I'm saying? These precepts are going to kick in. That's why I said, hey, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability, right? While other folks losing their, really losing their shits, man. You know, you're going to be stable. Right? But it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in, and in the power of his might. It says, put on the whole armor of your Habashimah. So not, not just, you know what I'm saying, the ankle braces and the, and the shin pads. Put on the whole armor, man. It's going to take... All the armor that Yahweh Hashem has, man. You know, it's gonna take all the armor. You know, it's gonna take all the armor for us to uh, to make it. You know, that's why I said through much tribulation, man. With, with much tribulation, you need all the all the armor that you can possibly get. You know, it says, "Put on the whole armor of Yahweh Hashem that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." You know, so like I said, hey, when they go back to it, you know. We know in that time of Esau really coming down with that wrath, right? Trying to to sift us out, right? Because he playing that spiritual being Satan as well. You know, going to the book of Job. You know, matter of fact, I, I ain't even get to that yet, but I go to that next. I meant to start off with that, but that's how the spirit works sometimes. Right? It says, um, hmm. Verse 12, it said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places, right? And this is why we need that whole armor, man, because we know 
Esau letting out, going through with the, the CERN thing, you know, got these different spirits activated, man. And we cut on the news, you see folks dying, you know, dropping like flies. You know, Esau, you know, putting out more witchcraft daily. Right, you gotta have armor for that, man. Especially when, like I said, when it gets real dark out here, you know, the fool feminists, man. The love of many waxing cold, right? Real deal, love of many waxing cold. You know, martial law going on. You got the Karagma station set up, you know what I'm saying, to get implanted and stuff like that, man. You got to have on the whole armor, man, right? Because if not, you're going to cave, man. You're going to cave, right? That's why, you know, the elders say, you know, understand what you're getting yourself into, right? Because we come to a time where it's, it's going to be no joke. Like it says, you know, the murk will be out of the earth. All right, um, he said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having, and having done all to stand. Right? You know, like I said, I'm going to go back to uh, Isaiah 33 and 6 every time. You know? You know, but on, the, on this road to upgrading to this new life, man, we must go through the... You know, it's, 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 it's temporary, you know, bullshit for everlasting glory, man. You know, going back to what, Romans 8? You know, uh, matter of fact, I'd rather if I go to Job. Man, that's how I be sometimes. Right? Um, Romans 8. <clears throat> 16 there's numerous precepts on that as well right um romans 8 verse 16 through 18 said the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high and the children then hairs hairs of the howl and joint hairs with the hamashiach and so be that we suffer with him that we may also be glorified together right much tribulation we shall enter the kingdom right um Verse 18, it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, right? Because we already have the victory. We just have to play out the steps, play out the part, man. That's why, you know, like I said, hey, this video can go into, you know, sifting, right? And also, we're going to be upgraded, man, right? Well, with being upgraded, you have to be tried, pass the test, you know? Got to pass the test. And right now, the Lord, hey, the Lord gave us the answers right now, man. That's why he, he tell us, uh, 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 seek you the Lord while he may be found. You know, uh, Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the answers is here right now. You know, because in a minute, it's going to be a real test, man. Right? Um, so I'm going to go back to that Job. Go back to that Job. I just want to bring out the you know. Just the point, <clears throat> because going to the book of Job, you know, talking about how the spiritual being Satan was, hey, trying to, trying to, uh, it was a bet, you know, it was a bet going on, man. And like I say, for us to get, for us to get, um, get about and get those new bodies, right? We must go through that trial and tribulation. We, we all will be tested, all right? So, um, I'm gonna just jump down. So verse six, it says, now there was a day when the sons of God, right, came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job? All right now, I really, I really want to say like, like, you know, uh, I want to say that, hey, we come in that spirit of Job, man. We move in that spirit of Job. You know, we constantly getting tried every day, like it said in Ephesians. You know, battling uh, uh, wickedness, you know what I'm saying? Darkness. You know, of, of uh, this world, man. Right? So, hey, we don't understand we're going to be chastised, we're going to be tried, man. Things will get taken away from us on this side, man. But it's all for the better. It says, and the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, 
one that fear of Yahweh and, and show of evil, right? And that perfect just going into, he's a just man. He's walking out the ways of Yahweh, you know? That's all it is. And that's why he seen him as perfect, right? Because, hey, he had integrity, you know? That integrity, it, it go a long way, right? You know, hey, you're going to stand on, you're going to stand on, you know, uh, uh, business, man. He knew, you know what I'm saying? That what he was standing on. So that would make him that perfect man. He wasn't, it wasn't no, 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 no uh, playing him, man. You know? And like I said, that's the spirit we got to be in from here on out. Right? So it says, and the Lord said unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job? It says that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect, a perfect and upright man, one that fear of Yahweh and the show of evil. Then Satan answered the Lord Yahweh and, and said, Doth Job fear Yahweh for naught? It says, Has not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he have on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance and increased in the land. Right, and, and that's what Satan already knew. Like, you got you got a hedge around him, man. You know, pretty much trying to say, like, man, if he ain't had no hedge around him, I got him. You know? And, and, and like the scripture say in the book of Romans 15 and 4, I'm going to grab it. This is what we must reflect on, man. You know, while we upgrading, right? This is what we got to reflect on, man. This, this is going to help us upgrade, man. Staying down for the come up. Staying down for the bigger purpose. Right? So, I'm going to go back to 10. It says, no, verse 11. It says, but put forth thine hand now. And touch all that he have, and he will curse thee to thy face. And that's what the bet started going on. You know, take 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 your hands off of him. You know, and this is the beginning to the story. But it says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he have is in thy power. <laughs> Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Right, and that was the bit, you know. He, he, he took him, he took the hedge off of um, uh, um, Joel, right? But the, the deal was he couldn't kill him. And that's what we believe on this side too as well, man. Right? Satan gonna try us and every day, but we know he can't kill us, man. Cause you, you really can't kill an Israelite, man. We're gonna always come back. You know, but just speaking you know, on, on, on this aspect, you know, we not we know that you have by Shemash like become the clutch for us, man. And we wholeheartedly believe that 144, you know, percent. Right? Um, but you know that that is the precept on that, you know, it's a beautiful story. You know, you can definitely go into it and finish it off, you know, just going into how <clears throat> Joe was just, you know, lo uh, losing it all, man. You know. Losing it all, but guess what? He still has his integrity, man. And that's what's going to make him upgrade in the end. Why? Because he stood still for the name. Right? So, um, I'm going to go back to that chapter in the book of Romans. 15 and 4. Right? Hey, we can go from rag to riches, man. <laughs> we can go from rags to riches, right? Because hey, when you read the story of Job, right? He had it. You know, he was a wealthy man, right? He lost it all. And, hey, you gonna get it back? That's us, right now. We in the state of we lost it all. You know what I'm saying? Literally lost it all. What scripture says, hey, forsaken everything, man. Man, I got. I'm gonna grab that after this, man. Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written four times were written for our learning. That we through patience and suffer, I mean, like, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right? Just comfort us, man. Knowing that, hey, we stay down, right? <laughs> yeah, by so much I can reward us in the end, man. You know, I have to look like I remember that precept. Uh the precept just be rolling on top of your head once you get the rolling, man. Right? Um I just roll with that one. So like, let me try to get to it. 
took things in the fourth time for our learning. Damn. So like, let me reread it. Well, when they may come back to me. Mm, you can't even remember it. Damn, that shit suck, man. Oh, well, Lord willing to come back to me. It was a good one, too. For all of them, be good. <laughs> right? Um, I'm just keep rolling. I'm going to go to Ciroc, you know. Ciroc 2. Ciroc 2. Better known as Ecclesiastes, right? But this is the book of Sirach too. And like I'm gonna say it, say it again, you know, this, this, it's about sifting, man. You know, sifting and upgrading. And that's what's gonna come out of this, you know. After the Lord, after, you know, Esau done tried his best to see, to see, like, oh, these men ain't no joke, man. <laughs> right? We're gonna upgrade, man. We didn't put in the work. How about you? We didn't prove to you. How about you? That we, that we are, are worthy of being crowned. You know, but until then, like I say, man, Akim, you know, Aqua, man, just, just hold on. Keep it in the road, man. Just know we're in the same boat, different seats. You know what I'm saying? We're fighting the same battle from different angles. Right? Um, Sarat 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right, temptation. Temptation meaning to what? Go, go, go against what is right. You know. And, and like we said, we in a time of Esau is really going to be putting that squeeze, right? That squeeze on folks, man. Especially us brothers, right? Because we firmly believe. You know, he definitely coming. Two thirds. They're gonna be two thirds. They, 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 they go with the win. You know what I'm saying? But Esau really want the elect, right? Because he got the elect, he can keep he can keep his rulership going, <laughs> you know. But we already know hey, through the prophecies, we already know, you know, if it will prof if it will possible, you be able to deceive the elect, you know what I'm saying? But we, we we're not going. We st we standing on business, you know what I'm saying? We are willing to go to the grave, right? Behind this truth, behind your how about Shmuel Shah, right? And we know what that temptation also gonna come with. Esau gonna be trying to call the food famine. You know, heavy persecution might be throwing the concentration camps. You know what I'm saying? The Karagma gonna be on the scene. Right? Gonna see your brother gonna flock to that by putting that squeeze on them. You know what I'm saying? Or even just, you know, daily, daily troubles, man. That can make a brother fold, man. Right? Used to be used to be the man before he came into the truth with, with financially, man. Had all the women, you know. Right? Becoming this truth, and you may start having female problems, wife problems, right? That can make a brother run up out of this thing, man. You know, but when it comes to the Lord, prepare ourselves for temptation. Be prepared for shit to get hard, man. You know, this, this is walking easy. It feels easy, you know what I'm saying? Everybody will do it. Everybody will do it. It'll be an easy crown, right? But when you put in that work, laboring different from the rest of the folks, man, when you get that reward, it's, it's, it hit different, man, right? putting blood sweat and tears behind it you know but it says um verse two set thy heart aright and constantly endure right constantly endure that's just like trying to how can i say that's like trying to swim in the ocean with a cut in your arm and you rating and you in a race you know that shit burning you gotta constantly endure you gotta keep going you know what I'm saying? We we in the middle of a race, man. You know you can't just stop in a race, right? Especially if you was in in the ocean. Or I'm just you know using the ocean for example. Well, hell, I could say from from one side of this lake to the other side of this lake. Say if it was salt, it's a salted lake. You know, you can't stop in the middle of a race, right? Yeah, you're gonna drown. You know, and 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 like with us trying to you know fulfill our lives, right? If we stop in the middle of this race, we won't get crowned. You know, we won't get crowned. The Lord gonna. Man, scripture says it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The Lord gonna have his way. Right? Double the double the cup. You know? Judge gonna be up there like Esau, uh judge because you know the truth and you stop. You know, also them that turn back their hand, uh turn their hand uh hands back from the plow. You know? Alright, back in the Sarat two and one, Salakia, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. 
set thou art aright and constantly endure and make not hasten in time of trouble. Don't get in all jittery when shit get real, man. You know, just why we applying ourselves right now for when the shit do get real. You know, when the shit get real, we're we going to be ready. You know, we're going to, hey, what it say? We're going we gonna to laugh at, at, at famine. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to laugh at these things, man. It's going to be a joke. It ain't going to say it's going to be a joke, but it's going to be like, I studied for this, so I'm ready for this. You know what I'm saying? Compared to looking at the next person, he over here looking like, I don't even know, but I'm about, <laughs> like you said on Friday after Nick, I'm about to run. You know what I'm saying? When Damon pushed up on him. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you know, it's just the point, right? You want to be ready for um for whatever trial trial that you have by Shamel shot throw at us. We want to be ready for it, man. Right? We, we don't, and like I say, you know, when things get tough, we don't want to uh, panic, right? panic and anything you bound to fuck up you know so we must stay firm you know stay firm we know help on the way you know what i'm saying and, and when you constantly get in trouble right pray fast you know what i'm saying get in the scriptures try to do a video you know all of these things are tools to help you stay stay in motion right um verse four it says slack you verse down verse three Verse 3, it says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Mm. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou be, mayest be increased at thy last end. For what's, so like a verse 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient without our chain to a low estate. Right? That scripture alone sounds like the story of Job. You know? That's why I said, hey, the things written before time written for our learning. Right, when you're learning, you're gonna take it in. You're gonna sit, you know what I'm saying? Sit on it, right? You're gonna put yourself inside those same shoes. Shit, when shit hit the fan, man. You know, inside that concentration camp, right? That's a lower state. The rest of these folks, you, you may see folks to your left and to your right dying. You know, you at a lower state. For whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, right? You know, I say that to say this. Hey, if you was inside that concentration camp, you, hey, be thou faithful unto death. Be thou faithful unto death. You shall get a crown of life. You know? But it said, for whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. You should be happy when you're going through trials and tribulations, man. Why? Because at that given moment, you're you're, you're uh, proven to you how about Shemel was shot. Right? I've been studying. I've been taking notes. I've been applying it, right? So when, when things like this happen, right, I feel like I, I can pass it, man, right? Um, matter of fact, I can say that in the book of... It's like... Dang, I keep catching the brain for it, shawty. That shit's terrible. Um... Like it's throwing me out of rhythm. Rhythm. That's what I want to go to. So like it call all you about shot. Romans. Right? Romans five. Romans five and three. Right? It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation. Matter of fact, I start from one. It says, my son. Hold on. It's tripping. That shit got two different books up at the same time. Um, Romans 5. I start at 1. Nah, this is not right. Slacky, slack. I know that's not right. It's saying when I come to the Lord, prepare myself for temptation. Let's bear with me one quick moment. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. This Romans 5 and 1. It says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our, our Lord, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. 
And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation work of patience and patience experience and experience hope. That's one of my, man, that's one of my daggers right there. I, I love that one. You know, the Lord ain't putting you in these positions for no reason. He upgrading you, man. Right? But before he upgrades you, he got to, he got to try you out. You know? He got to try, and we, we going through fire, man. We getting molded to be, to, man, gods, man. You know, little G's, <laughs> right? We got, but we got to go through the steps of getting that. We got to go, we got, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got to go through training, right? So it says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation. We put a smile at it, man. We built for it. You know, like like like, like the brother out there um, on the north, right? Yahweh, Yawana, Slakin, you know? Hey, hey, his page what? Warriors for Yahweh Shah. We gotta be a warrior, you know what I'm saying? But hey, with that being said, we gotta go inside the steps. You know what I'm saying? Go inside the steps. Just knowing, hey, when we go through things, hey, we 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 growing in increments, man. You know, we're getting closer and closer to being top dog, man. Again, right? So we must glory to our tribulation. It sounds crazy, but you supposed to smile when it gets hard, man. Just know that the Lord is trying you again. You know, and the Lord said he's chastening who he loves, man. He's going to put you in tight positions. But it's only for the better, man. Only for the better. That's how you, you want to see it every time. All right? Um, Khan, so I'm going to go back to uh, Sirach. Or matter of fact, I'm going to finish off verse 4 again. It says, well, 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation work of patience, right? And that's what happened, man. Like I said, hey, just we're going into upgrading, right? Now upgrading, you gotta, gotta be patient, man. You gotta be patient with, to whatever you have by Shemash at the waters. Right? That's why I said, hey, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, right? Especially when you brought down to a lower state. You know? You gotta be glory, you gotta glory, glory that. You no know, smile at that. You know? When they get real dark, smile. It'll, it'll crack, it'll make some light, you know? It'll make some light in that room. <laughs> Right? It says, um, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation work of patience and, and patience experience. Right? And experience hope. Oh, that's a nice analogy, man. Right? Go with the patience, you're gonna gain experience. You're gonna know how to maneuver, you know? That's in anything. You get enough, you're patient enough, you see how things work, you know how to you know how to maneuver. Right? So now you got the experience for it, man. Right, so now, hey, when it come around again, you gotta hope that you can get over this hurdle, man. Right. So, um, going back to Sirach, and I think I was gonna finish off in six. So, right, so this is Ecclesiastes two. <clears throat> um, I start from four and I go into five. So, if whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient without a change to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, right? <laughs> For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable man in the furnace of adversity, right? And what's another beautiful story that, that reminds me of that is what? The three holy children, man. Right? The three holy children, right? Right there in the book of what? Daniel? Showed you, <clears throat> excuse me, matter of fact. I gotta get the names. I've been hearing the I've been hearing the Hebrew name. Then I'm going back to the regular name, so I'm kind of confused right now. I know Ananiah, Mishael, Hazariah. I gotta go to it. I don't know butcher their names at all. So lucky. Like um, I just go into the um, the actual name that they got inside. You know, Daniel three. Right, Shirak, Mishayak, and Abednego. Khan, call all your Bashmel Shah. Right, so going back to, you know, Sirach 2. It was, it was a 5. For gold is tried in the fire. Right? For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Right? And, and, and that's one of my favorite stories as well, too. You know, because why in the mix of that, in the mix of that fire, hey, who's there with him? Yahweh Shah, right? Didn't Yahweh Shah tell us inside our time? He won't leave us comfortless, right? Back then, he, he was there to comfort them. 
And, and the thing was, it's like, hey, they, you standing still, you standing stiff. You standing so stiff, you told them folks, hey, man, you ready to go with the ghost right now? Cause we not bowing down to you, man, All right? You don't think the Lord not gonna upgrade them? You know, give them that good crown? Hey, well done, my faithful and servant, right? One of those guys, three, those three guys are somewhere around this, you know, roaming around right now, you know? That's why the Lord said, hey, for whatsoever things written for the time was written for our learning through faith, right? Through, it's like through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope, right? So when Esau tried to come with bowing down to take that karagma, man, you're going to look at Esau, man, he might spit on that man, man. He might cuss his ass up. He may kick him. Tell him to put me on the guillotine face up. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't bowing down. We know we finna be upgraded, man. You know? And who wants to be, you know, recorded, <laughs> given, um, 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 falling short in the race, catching a trolley horse, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Three steps from the finish line. To where you couldn't even finish the race. It was that bad. You know? It was that bad that Esau pushed up on you to where you couldn't even no longer finish the race, man. You know? All right, but the Lord said he didn't give us a spirit of fear. He said, be strong in him. Put on the whole armor. This is what we're doing now. Right? So, hey, when time, he's our new push up on the cruise, which we know he coming. We're not running. Right? We better look, hey, because really he saw like a, like a, like death anyway. He's like cancer anyway. So, hey, in that time, we better look death in the eyes, man. And not back down. Right? That's why, hey, you, you, you reflect, understand what you got getting yourself into, you know, because this is a real walk. You know, we will, we will be held accountable, you know, at the end, right? And we want to be, you know, so we want to be upgraded, man. That's all I can really say. We want to be upgraded. So that's going to come with a lot of work, <laughs> right? Um, but gold is trying to fire an acceptable man in the front of adversity, right? Acceptable men is going to make their way through, you know, as it says in the book of Zechariah 13 and 8, two-thirds shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be, you know, through the fire, right? Oh, that fire will be the, the purities, right? The, 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 the calamities, the adversity, you know, the troubles, you know, same thing, you know, right? That's how you're, 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 um, be, be made acceptable, man, right? You got to burn off, um, be made pure, you know? Right, so it says, verse six: Believe in Him, and He will help thee. Order thy way right, and trust in Him. That's all we can do: trust in Yahweh Shemesh. Follow these simple steps, man. Right, He gonna upgrade us to a crown, to being little worms, like how we're described in the book of Isaiah. You know, 40, 40, 40 or forty-one, if I'm mistaken. You know, we gonna go from being small worms, right, to rulers, man. Rulers that rulers with a crown that no that no man can take. No call her law, you have watch me. I shot to that too. Right? Um, got a couple more precepts and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna close out. Right? Um, so six, six. Let me see what this one says. Right? Um, mm, kind of beautiful. Right, Psalm 62, verse 6. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. That's the spirit that the elect is going to be in, man. You know? The spirit of the elect is, is a. Hey, we know these times are coming. We know, hey, yeah, how about you, shot got us, man? Matter of fact, before I go there, before I finish that off, I'm going to go to the book of Psalms, the Proverbs 18, verse 10. Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and it's safe. Right? That's why we're not going to be moved inside these times, man. Because we up under Yahweh, Yahweh, shall wing. You know? Like I said, we're going to look death in the eyes and laugh at it, man. We'll laugh at Esau, man. You know, Esau going back to the little peon he is, man. We might slap that man on the neck in the day, in the day of adversity, man. 
you know? Right? Let me go back to the book of Psalms. <clears throat> 62. And 6. And it reads, He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved, right? We're not going to be moved, man. Right? Like I said, going back to Sirach 2 and 1, prepared ourselves for temptation, right? When, when things get real, right? Um, he may have it to the point where uh, put that pressure, put that squeeze on you with that with that karagma in front of you, man. And we won't be moved. Why? Because we're sealed with the wisdom, knowledge, truth, and understanding. Isaiah 33 and 6 all over again, right? And wisdom and knowledge have the stability of thy times. And the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Khan, call halal Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Right? Um, had another one. Was it James 1 and 2? Let me see what that says. And, you know, Lord willing, it's less than this, edifying. I just want to just, just bring it out, come to the late pond, whatever this is. And, you know what I'm saying? Just Lord willing, it's edifying, man. I, I, I like looking at scenery like this, especially in the fall, winter time, right? Because I think about it just, hey, when shit hit the fan, I look, I look at the woods and stuff like that, man. Like, we might possibly be in these motherfuckers rolling around, you know what I'm saying, with your family, you know? Just trying to make our way, being like pickles upon the earth. Hell, maybe at a pond like this, trying to, late like this, trying to find some food, you know? Which we know the Lord is going to feed us anyway. My servant shall eat. My servant shall drink. You know, I'm just rambling, you know. Hopefully, it's, it's, it's hitting home, though. Because it, it's going to happen, you know. Um, I meant to bring this out earlier. Right along with that Romans 5. But, you know, it's still edify edifying. Right? The book of James 1, verse 2. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse, diverse temptations, right? But like I said, hey, man, we're working, we're, we're, we're building ourselves up, man. Right? We're proving to you how about Shemal Shah, we, we, we earned we earn thy crown brick by brick. You know, we put in the steps, right? So it says, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Many sorts of temptations meant to where you can go off, go back into the world. Count it all joy, right? Because you're being tested, man. Right, and like I said, through much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom of God. Watch me out, shy man. Right, it says knowing this, verse three, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work with patience. Right, but let patience have a perfect word that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing, man. Right, so you know, that's just the point. And I'm gonna close out with the book of Wisdom of Solomon, man. Right, because we're gonna be upgraded real soon, Akim. Right, Yahweh right, the Zah, you know, we one of those men. That's why hey, we should be out here making a call in the election short, you know, and proving to you how about you, well, you know, you how about you, I already know, but you know, we want to prove from our point of view that we're counted worthy. Right? This is the book of um, Wisdom, <clears throat> so like Wisdom and Solomon. Three, and I'm going to jump down to verse five and six. Right, um, let me see first. I can go from one to like it. Right, it says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and there shall no torment touch them. Right, and we wholeheartedly believe that, you know, like I said, we're from the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah wing. <laughs> it says, In the sight, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to be that they are. Uh, it's like, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. It says, and they're going, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For thou, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality, right? Because mortal I means you know, pretty much fleshly, that's gonna die, you know. But immortally, right, going to long, long living. You know, those spiritual bodies, man. Right? But though they be punished in the sight of men, right? Because right now we're being punished, right? For the sins of our forefathers, right? Which we are in them in the reincarnation, you know? 
we're being punished right now up on the east side going through heavy oppression you know losing it all on this side Ooh, there you go call all you have i ended off on that precept right i'm gonna say it so i can remember it right but matthew 19 you know <clears throat> right but you know uh we, you know, we're being oppressed, vexed every day <laughs> until shit hit the fan. That's when we won't be vexed no more, you know, in my opinion. But it says, yet yeah, is there hope full of immortality, right? Like I said, hey, we're going to be sifted. We're going to be, after, after being sifted, we're going to be upgraded, man, right? Because we passed the sifting test, you know? Right? It says, verse 5, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 5, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. <laughs> Man. And having been a little chastised, right? Because, hey, let us say in the book of Romans 8 again, right? Romans 8 and 17. The suffering that, you know, the, the suffering that you have gone through right now, it's, it's not. The matter of fact, it's another one in, in, in Corinthians. I gotta grab it. I gotta grab it. I gotta try to find it now. I gotta dig for this one. You know, because the suffering that we're going through is it's, it's nothing, man. You know? It's 13 and 17. No. Ah, oh, man. It's so like, give me two seconds. I gotta, I gotta Google this one. I got to Google this one. Let me see if it's first Peter. Dang, messing up my flow. I can't remember off the top of my head. Damn, it's like it. Go back global and I can remember it. I can't remember the top of my head no more. I should have wrote that one down. Let me try one more time. It's 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. It's like, yeah, I just had to grab that one. I was <laughs> determined to find that, right? 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. It's like, yeah, again, right? But just going back from, you know, Wisdom of Solomon saying, you know, the thing that we're going through right now, right? This ain't nothing but a light affliction, you know? Right? This So this right here is the book of 2 Corinthians 4, verse 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work of, for us as far more exceedingly, exceeding, it's like an eternal weight of glory while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. What we're looking for is crowns, man. We can't see that right now, but we know through the faith. We know through the faith that you have by Shemal Shah gonna grant us those things, man. Why could we stay firm for the name? Man, oh, man I, I gotta go with the flow. Gotta go with the flow. Let me go back to the wisdom of Solomon, though. Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right? We have, if you have faith in it, it means you're gonna wait on it. You're gonna be patiently waiting on it, man. You're, right? you're gonna endure for it. Man. Um. So, going back to the book of wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom 
Solomon 3. I'll go back to verse 4. It's like the first five. It says, and having been a little chastised, right? Also, you can go to the book of, uh, you know, um, Hebrews. I want to say either four or twelve. Going to the chastising, man. Right? The Lord chastises because He loves us, man. You know, we want to be upgraded. The Lord got to put you through things, man. Don't nothing come easy. Don't can't just get nothing from you. How about my shot? You got to put it in the work. You know. And when you know when we get to put when, when you putting in that work, you know the Lord may may see where you at. When he may he, he may want to shake you up and see where you at, see if you're gonna stand firm or you gonna you know get plucked out, right? So it says, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, right? Not just rewarded, but greatly getting the whole earth back. You being the who the first fruits, man. You help you have a shot with the blueprint. Oh, the world, not just the city, the world, <laughs> right? <laughs> so like it, but you know, hey, you, you, you was really important, man. You know, every, through every generation, you came back, stand, stood on business, every generation. <laughs> you know, so we're going to be greatly rewarded for that, right? And I say we, because, you know, Lord willing, like I said, we were part of that, that, that remnant, man. Right? It says, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded for Yahweh, proved them and found them worthy for himself. Right? That's why I say you're gonna be, you're gonna be upgraded. Why? Because the Lord have proved to you how we're like, nah, I, that's him. He wanna, you know, that, that's, that's mine right there. That's my elect. That's gonna be that part of that new governing body, man. All right, verse six. As gold, as gold in the furnace, as gold in the furnace have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Right, so hey, the point proven, right? We're gonna be upgraded, right? Because the Lord, hey, we proved ourselves. We went through the five, we went through all the trials and tribulations that was inside our our lot, you know. And guess what? Hey, we're still shining, man. We're still shining. So always keep the faith, man. Right, the Lord, hey, it's only a light of affliction. It's only for a moment. Only for a moment, right? And I'm gonna um. Close out with. I said it earlier. I meant to bring it out earlier, but the book of Matthew 19. Uh, about where I started. Matthew 27 right and I'll close out with that <clears throat> it says Matthew 19 verse 27 it says then answered Peter and said unto him behold we have forsaken all and followed thee what shall we have there therefore right and I was bringing this point out earlier right just from stating the point about uh Sirach 2 you know when I come to the Lord prepared us over temptation man you know, on this road to victory, man, we're going to lose a lot. We're going to lose it all, you know, but we're going to gain it all. Is what you must keep in mind. We're going to gain it all as well, right? I always keep that in mind. Um, Then answer, so like, then answer Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there for? <laughs> right? Because we didn't, we didn't turn back, you know, we didn't left families behind friends behind you know certain jobs behind careers behind you know all because of what this truth not just on anything because it's truth man right and like you said in the in the book of wisdom of Solomon, we one of those men we're gonna be greatly rewarded right it's hard to step out on faith you see how it was when when you go back to the account with uh yahweh shows in the boat i forgot who um who had asked him to come over you know into the water i cannot remember the name so like you for that you know but it took faith to walk out there in the water and, and, and knowing the possibility that you could just drown, right? But you believing in faith, even though your house was literally right there in front of him, you know, he told him to walk, up, walk over the water. And we started to drown a little bit and he started getting shooken up, you know? Or or, or when when Yahweh was sleeping on the boat and 
you know, it, them, 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 them waves started picking up. And what the Lord, hey, you have what I told him, hey, you, you little faith. You know, so it, it's, it's hard to start, step out on faith, man. Going against the whole world, you know, willing to get put to death behind the truth. And we believe this is the truth. Like, like the dude said a long time ago, man, if this ain't the truth, if, if telling this, telling this truth is, is wrong, I don't want to be right. I don't want to be right. Right? But I'm um, going back to Matthew 19 and 28. And your house shall I say unto them, Barely I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, right? Like I was saying earlier, you know, you came through many generations doing the same exact thing, standing, standing firm. Right? And um it says, And when your house shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. The Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, Yahweh Shah. He also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Right? You're gonna be a first fruits, man. You're gonna be the governor, top dog, you know, in, in the kingdom, man. Right? Because Yahweh Shah gotta get his glory first. Right? And we we the runners up. Right? We right behind them. Right? So um verse verse 29. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake. Right? Don't sound like Job all over again, man. Forsaking it all, man. Right? Forsaking it all. Losing it all. Right? Because, hey, we want this upgrade, man. We can't be anybody's no, no longer than what we have to, man. They're meant for what? Death. Their flesh. They have to die off. Right? It says, and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. We can get it all back. And some, man. And some. Right? Verse 30 of the point as well. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. Don't that sound like a good upgrade to you? Right? Being mocked at since you came to this truth. You know, being looked over, talk shit, talk down upon. I, I know I have been. You know, it's cool, though. I mean, hey, you know, this is nothing compared to what you have. I had to go through. So, hey, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But we know what's coming after this upgrade, man. Like I said, right now, we're last, man. Lord willing, we, we, we um, one of the 144. Well, hey, we will be what? First. We'll be first, man. Right, and I, I, want, I just want to close. I said that was it, but I want to close out with the book of Second Edges too, man. Because you can't never always, can't forget that. You can't forget, man, a part of this upgrade. This is a part of the upgrade, man. Standing stiff, man. Like I say, man, you can't let none none of the stuff in this world, man, uh, uh, sift you, man. Pull your card, man. You know who you're dealing with. You're dealing with your how about you, was shot, right? And like it says in the book of First Thessalonians, Four, chapter 4, I want to say verse 18. No, comfort each other with these words, man. We're going to get an upgrade. We're going to get an upgrade, man. All right, second edge was um, 2, and I start at verse 42. And I'm going to just, you know, skim through this one to bring out the point, man, standing stiff. All right, so it says, I edge saw, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, right? Taller than the rest, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. All right, Andrew Sr., how was shy? You know, big dog. You know, big bro. What? Hey, taller than all the rest, man. Doing, hey, setting palms, setting, setting crowns on these men. You know, these men was worthy. Let's keep reading. It says, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing, right? Like I was saying earlier, right? The difference between the death, right? Mortal and immortal. It says, these be, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Lord. Yeah, how about you, Shah? How are they crowned and receive palms? Let me slot it. Now are they crowned and receive palms? That's the upgrade, man. You're finna get a crown that nobody can take. It's gonna, it's gonna be way better than 
a crown that you can you can buy at the store, man. This is the crown from the creator, man. The creator in the sun. Right? It says, um, verse 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered me and said, So like he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh Shem Now are they received, now are they crowned and receive palms. Then I said unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of the most high, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It is over there clapping hard as hell, like damn. Right? Because back in you know, second years two, he was saying, Woe is me, woe is me, because of the stuff that's finna go on. You know, like I said, you know, the scriptures talk about how the karate and the famine. Right? Them boys stood stiff. Damn. Like, hey, hey, it's gonna be a beautiful thing, man, to go from rags to riches, man. Right, but in the mix of this 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 time period, right? You know, we gotta be waiting patiently, man. You know, suffering, beating the battle, man. Um verse 48. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. Whew. Can't get can't beat that one, man. Can't beat that, right? Let them know, man. Let them know. Hey, this this is a part of staying down for the come up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about you? I'm gonna make sure he greatly reward us. I mean, you can't you don't get no greater than that, man. You know you don't act, man. You don't you don't get no greater than that, man. But you know I ain't gonna keep rambling on. My first time actually, you know, going over an hour just on a sit down. You know, with the water. Yeah, how about you, shot for that? You know, it's not about trying to be a long video or not. You know, I just, you know, just, just stating the point. <laughs> you know, but Lord willing, you know, it's, it's edifying, man, and, and uplifting. I just had to speak on this. It was really on my mind all last week to try to push another sift, um, not sifting, but uplifting video. You know, because we're definitely going to need it. You know what I'm saying? We're definitely going to need it, especially when these lights go out. You know, Lord willing, we, we can remember these precepts. So Lord, we can have our sword with us. You know, it really doesn't matter because right? it's, it's going to be within our mind anyway, right? And I ended off on paraphrasing the book of Isaiah 33 and 6 again. Wisdom and knowledge have been the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation, right? The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. Right? So with that being said, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to you. How about Shemel Shah? How about Shemel Kraken Dash? Till next time, Shalom. Till then, stay up.